The Princess of Wales has just announced that she is undergoing treatment for cancer. Well, meanwhile, here in the UK, Prince William has said his wife Catherine is doing well after her cancer diagnosis. In the realm of royalty, every public appearance carries weight. So what happens when a prominent figure like Kate Middleton seems to vanish from the spotlight? It's been months since we last saw her radiant smile. Rumors and conspiracy theories have swirled, attributing her absence to a variety of reasons, from health issues to hidden agendas. Could health concerns be affecting the Duchess, or is there something more sinister at play? More importantly, how might her extended absence impact her royal duties and responsibilities? Last year, Catherine, Princess of Wales, attended the royal family's Christmas Day church service at Sandringham. Little did we know it would be the last time we'd see one of the world's most photographed individuals for many weeks. The internet has since gone wild, with rumors ranging from secret plastic surgery to a supposedly manipulated official family photo. Speculation about Kate Middleton has reached new heights of frenzy. How did we end up in this whirlwind of gossip and intrigue? Let's break it down. In the middle of January, Kensington Palace dropped a bombshell. The Princess of Wales had undergone what they called a planned abdominal surgery at the London Clinic, a private hospital situated on Harley Street. In mid-January, Kensington Palace made a startling announcement. The Princess appreciates the public's interest, but the statement acknowledged that she likely didn't anticipate the extent of the attention it would generate. She hopes the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normalcy for her children as possible and to keep her personal medical information private. The palace added that based on current medical advice, she was unlikely to resume her public duties until Easter, which falls on March 31 this year. They reassured everyone that the surgery went smoothly and that she was expected to stay in the hospital for about 10 to 14 days before returning home. Kate's decision to keep details about her medical situation private only fueled public curiosity. With a surgery requiring a lengthy hospital stay followed by an extended recovery at home, people began to wonder what was really going on. Speculations ranged from concerns about her being gravely ill or in an induced coma to extreme theories about her marriage to William being in trouble or even her having met an untimely demise and being replaced by a body double. Some joked that perhaps she was just waiting for a bad haircut to grow out or recovering from secret plastic surgery. There was even an absurd theory suggesting she'd become a viral sensation like a villain in a twisted Willy Wonka experience. Meanwhile, the palace was likely rolling its eyes as it responded to the wild speculation by telling People magazine that Kate was simply doing well. Sure, many of these conspiracy theories sound like something out of a comedy sketch, but they all stem from genuine concern. Kate has always been a steady presence in the British royal family, showing up with a smile at every public event and handling royal drama like a pro. Then, out of nowhere, she vanished. And that's what's got everyone scratching their heads. On March 10, Kensington Palace released a photo of the Princess of Wales beaming alongside her children to celebrate Mother's Day in the UK. This picture marked only the second time Kate had been seen in public since Christmas Day. However, the release of this photo stirred up quite a scandal. Major photo agencies like the AP and Reuters flagged the image, claiming it was manipulated and issued a kilt notice, indicating they would no longer use it. Observers noted that Kate was without her usual jewelry, including her engagement ring. The details surrounding the image added to the suspicion. It seemed like it was taken in a different season, and eagle-eyed viewers noticed peculiarities, such as Kate not wearing her wedding ring and odd appearances in the children's fingers. What truly made the situation unusual was the Associated Press, a reputable news agency, withdrawing their endorsement of the photo and issuing a kill notice, signaling they would no longer use it. Upon closer inspection, the image appeared manipulated and the agency made it clear that no replacement photo would be provided. This decision was echoed by three other international picture agencies, which also chose to drop the photo. This turn of events raises significant questions. If Kate could easily make appearances in front of the cameras, why would Kensington Palace resort to using manipulated images? It's a mystery that only adds to the intrigue surrounding Kate's prolonged absence from the public eye. Carefully timed shots of Kate looking somber or contemplative in her car have become almost emblematic of her communication strategy. While they may not provide direct answers to the questions swirling around her, they certainly speak volumes in their own silent way. Adding to the intrigue, the ambiguity of these car paparazzi shots leaves room for even more speculation. Kate's hospital stay was attributed to planned abdominal surgery. 
but skeptics quickly pointed out what they saw as a major plot hole in Kensington Palace's initial health statement on January 17. People wondered what kind of surgery Kate was having that required such a long hospital stay. This definitely got the rumor mill churning, especially when, on the same day, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles would be undergoing treatment for an enlarged prostate. Hold on to your hats because this was definitely not your average day in royal news. Two of the highest ranking royals going under the knife at the same time. That's not just unusual, it's downright shocking. Naturally, royal watchers went into overdrive with speculation. Some even suggested that the palace might be trying to hide something significant behind the scenes, deepening the mystery. In a country where the tabloid press can be downright ruthless, royals are fair game, no exceptions. So when someone like Kate goes off the radar, you better believe it's going to set off alarm bells and send the rumor mill into overdrive. Royals are expected to play the game with the media, keeping the public in the loop about their well-being no matter what. And let's be honest, the expectations for royal women are sky-high, always impeccably groomed, endlessly pleasant, and available to their adoring public at a moment's notice no matter what's going on behind the scenes. Kate has epitomized this ideal, always showing up with a smile even after giving birth and facing the paparazzi with grace and style. So what made this particular procedure different? Why was Kate suddenly nowhere to be seen and why wasn't the press clamoring for a glimpse of her? It's a question that's been on everyone's minds. And then, out of the blue, the palace drops a seemingly manipulated photo of her. It just adds fuel to the fire, doesn't it? When Kate Milton finally steps back in the public eye, it will be more than just a return of a beloved public figure. It will be a testament to her resilience and dedication, reinforcing why she is such an admired member of the royal family. Her return will likely be met with an outpouring of support and relief from the public, eager to see her continue her work and reassured by her presence. As the anticipation builds, it's worth reflecting on the broader implications of this episode. It highlights the delicate balance between public interest and personal privacy that all public figures must navigate. It also serves as a reminder of the relentless nature of media speculation and the impact it can have on individuals and their families. Until that moment arrives, the world watches with bated breath, sending well wishes and hoping for the best for the Duchess of Cambridge. Her journey through this challenging period, once fully revealed, will undoubtedly add another layer to her already remarkable story. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you think of this. Share your thoughts in comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching.